Welcome back. Um, this is going to be a voiceover. I'm going to go over some of this stuff here. It's pretty boring, but I think it's important. And what I've got going here is um, a video on how to slab out the, uh, the blanks to get your cores. And the reason why I want to cover this is if um, this process isn't accurate or dead on then you know nothing else you do will be accurate after this point so um, what you're looking at is a shim piece of plate glass um, I got this wire suspended on the one two three box and they're probably accurate to maybe a tenth of a thousand um, you get them in machine shop catalogs and so forth um, one dimension of course just like the the name of them, one, two, three, there's the thickness is one inch and two inches wide, three inches tall, depending on how you lay them out. So that's just a quick way to set the uh, height of the wire off the glass without measuring it. So these little half A cores I'm blanking out, I just set them up to where I got the blanks at two inches thick. Um, at this point I'm actually getting the true edge on the uh, blanks here and you gotta start with one edge. Now this isn't critical um, as far as where you place it. What is critical on this cut is that it's 90 degrees. So this bow it's um, it's on a variac. It's same with the uh, wire that I stretched across the glass. It's on a variac. So I'm cutting this um, probably about 60 volts AC, which is the upper limit, and I'd want to cut it with a variac. I've got a switch on the bow so I can click it off really quick. And then I just go around the blanks, you know, and get to where the top plan view of both wings are in one block. And what I mean by that is um, if you take the uh, top plan view and you flip it root to tip, tip to root, you know, you'll have a, a block. And then I don't actually measure at this point. I take the uh, template itself and I transfer the root template to the foam block. And you'll see it'll become apparent, apparent I guess, you know, when I cut this out what I'm doing. Um, I'm cutting both wing panels left and right and they're nested so I put the root on one end of the block at one end and then I flip it around so I'm cutting this block at an angle and it's important you know I've got the weights there to hold it so it's 90 degree So I think some of the flashing there on the uh, video was the camera, if it shows up on the edit. But um, as you can see, I take the blocks and I flip them, and that gives me my cores, my core blanks. And it's important to actually get it accurate. You know, you don't want uh, the root and the tip to be different on each panel. So the next step is setting up the center line. Um, you can measure it like I'm doing here off the tape and the glass. Another method I like to use is actually mark the foam and measure a half inch with a mark. If it's an inch. If it's two inches it'll be an inch, three, inch and a half. So I find the center with the tape measure and I make a little mark, just a dot with a sharpie fine point. And then I go back and I adjust the height gauge to that dot. And it really is not super critical that it's in the center, but what it is critical that you've got the uh, blanks laid out just like the plan view. So when you start marking them, if it's not exactly on center, you're you're still on the same plane. 
when the wings are laid out like you're looking at here. And that becomes critical if you want to join your wing halves in the cradle, so you don't want your cradles to be different heights. And I'm testing here to make sure that the wing blank isn't rocking on the glass. If it does rock, or something's not right or it's bowed, you got to make sure you sand the wing blanks before you put the center line on it so it's um, everything's accurate. If the wing's rocking or the blank isn't flat, you're not going to get a, a good center line. So the center line is dependent on how flat the glass is and then how flat the foam core is resting on the glass. Um, like I said, just take a sanding block and make sure that the the blank is actually flat. 